Good morning. This is the second episode of Chandra Mala, Mindful Business Consultancy. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to have a look at your business, the actual space. And what is very important for us to understand with a business, doesn't matter what size it is, a small business from home or a medium sized business or a large corporate that has got a national footprint is, we've got to understand that your business is a living organism. So it breathes, it's got a heart, it's got a soul, it's got an intention, it's got a desire exactly the same as you and myself. And so it's very important to connect and to work with the business as if it's a living person and a living organism. And so what we work with is we having a look today at the flow of the business site, the business premises, the office, the building as such. And the tools that I use for this particular process is I have got a vortex mat, which is quite a new concept to a lot of businesses. I know that a lot of businesses don't understand the vortex mat. And vortex is a element of energy to keep the flow. And so we know that flow is so important and we all want our businesses to flow in a prosperous and abundant manner. And the, the magnetic cards that are used are laid out on the vortex mat. And we've got, for, ex for instance, the breath of life, we've got the water card, we've got the oxygen card, and most importantly, we've got the heart card, because your business, being a living organism, has got a heart. And so it's so important for us to understand what is the heartbeat of your business. And when I go into an organization, the very first thing I will do is ascertain what is the heart vibration or what is the heartbeat of your business. And, and this is the element that most people re really get blown away by because for a start is they didn't realize that their business was a living organism and that it had a heart and had an intention and a purpose. And so remember, the business purpose is to be the vehicle for you as well as your staff to fulfill your purpose. So there's a real um, important relationship between the two of you. We need to ensure that that alignment is always there and that the flow of that alignment is, is intact. What we've also got is we've got, for example, the trust card. And, and it's a huge element that comes up in business alignments is the trust element. You know, economy is not good. We've had COVID, we've had riots. And uh, how do we really trust? And, and business, we can't predict going forward. And how do we trust ourselves in making the right decisions? How do we trust the economy? How do we trust the information that actually comes to us on how do we steer our business in the right direction? And so a lot of... Um, key decisions need to be made in these times that we are living through and they need to be made on a day-to-day -day basis and they're not going to be the same as what you did two years ago. I know for a fact that my business has changed very radically and so we need to learn to adapt. And so these magnetic cards, which are not magnetic cards that you can put on your fridge, etc., they will just fall off, but these are magnetic cards that carry a certain kind of heartbeat in a, in a way that actually helps to create more flow in the business to actually support you uh, in making the right decisions, etc. So the space, I will walk into your office premises, um, be it a warehouse, be it a corporate offices, or be it your home office. I will walk into the space and just kind of get a feel. What is the look? Have you got the right decor? Have you got the the, the chairs and the tables that you need in order to be comfortable in your working space, etc. Have you got the right um, positive statements on your walls? Have you got your company logo up? It is very important for us to understand that we're all different and our sensory levels are different. And so for me, for example, if I had to work in a, a call center day to day, that wouldn't ad ad adapt or it wouldn't be good for my sensory system. And so often, we need to ascertain what is your sensory level in order to ensure that your office environment or your building environment is conducive for everybody, depending on, on each person, but as well as the department. So we go in and we, we will draw a floor plan of your office and we will ascertain where in your office or your building and on which floor, every floor has got a different heart because they function with different um, dynamics of the people in the different departments. We'll ascertain where the heart is located and then through a dialogue process, um, we will ascertain what is the actual frequency, vibration or the heartbeat. I like to call it the heartbeat because our heart beats and it's important for us to ascertain what is the heartbeat of your business. The process with the support of the vortex mat and I, I get blown away each time and I just did a business alignment uh, yesterday and 
the, the heartbeat moved within a space of three hours from around about 30 odd percentage to about 95 percent. And, and this is exactly why I use this tool in order to help facilitate that radical triple bypass, if we want to call it that, to give you the support, the business as well as the individuals, the support that you need in order to elevate yourself in order to overcome that challenge and that obstacle that you're currently facing. And once we've ascertained the heartbeat of the business and we've put it onto this vortex mat and we're actually aligning it while we're in dialogue, we discuss what is the intention of the business, what are your desires for the business and how can we actually support the business and so there we come in with a lot of the mindset the perception what is the terminology that you're using and so there we would use a lot of the neuroscience cards we will look a lot of around um, what is the the self-talk that you have uh, why is the self-talk coming up what is it that you as a business leader or business owner or executive needs to actually have a look at within to in order to shift to help support this heartbeat of the business once we've ascertained the the heartbeat and we've had the dialogue around the intention and the purpose and we've we've maybe perhaps reframed a few perceptions etc we will then recheck the actual heartbeat and I think this is where it blows most people that within a space of an hour two hours three hours or depending on on the process and with the dialogue conversation etc we will then recheck the heartbeat and 99% of the time it's made a radical a radical shift and immediately people feel so much more relieved they feel more confident they have a lot more trust in themselves and they have a lot more belief and trust in their business and that's that's the amazing part of this mindful approach So now that we've got the, the heart of your business aligned and the heartbeat is at an optimal level of between 95 and 98% to support you, now it is time for you to go and relax and enjoy your weekend or the rest of your day. And always remember that every thought that you think is going to manifest into what you desire at the end of the day. So we need to be very, very conscious and very mindful of what are the thoughts in our minds. So be rest assured and know that your heartbeat of your business is at a good state and a good level. And we will see you next week with episode three.